Hi there, hello, it's David Connolly here again, still loaded with the flu, but happy to be here, happy to be talking about HMVC. I apologise if the last video was a bit waffly, but let me just say, if you can put up with my waffle, if you follow this stuff, if you uh, take the trip, if you can dig the vibe, please get in touch and let me know, because I have tons of work, and actually I have too much work, and I would love if I could have a hand with this. So if you do follow this stuff, if you like the technique, get in touch with me. Uh, my website address is davidconnolly.com. I'd love to hear from you, and I might be able to give you some work, okay? I have tons of work. Now, today I'm going to talk about, uh, like I said, I'm going to talk about this uh, structure, MVC versus HMVC, and uh, show you the difference. So basically, MVC is based around, you know, normal code igniter, is based around uh, models, views, and controllers. So we have a kind of triad, you know, and we have a controller talking to the models, uh, uh, the model and the view folder, and that's pretty much how it works. Now, HMVC, I have a really nice diagram here, actually. HMVC respects the vibe, but in HMVC, we have lots of model view controllers. We call them triads, you know, so they're kind of like clusters. If I bring this up here, do you like my cool diagram? On the left, we have standard MVC, so that's your three folders, your three folders. If you've used Code Igniter, you'll be very familiar with that. HMVC has, as you can see on the right-hand side, clusters of MVC triads, you know, and you can have as many as you want. The other thing that's cool about HMVC is that you can actually have controllers calling other controllers from other modules, but you can even call other modules from view files, which makes life really easy, especially if you're adding widgets. Now, it's one thing showing you a diagram, but let me show you an actual uh, real website and I'll show you how this works, okay? So here, for example, is a site which I've uh, only just recently launched for someone uh, called the Global Tattoo Network. So if I click on, uh, let me just see, something like events, okay, which is... Uh, Actually, let's do a better, oh gee, this is such a bad example. Right, events, okay, there's no events so far, well done, Dave. But the, what I wanted to show you was basically this. Here is the site, okay, I'm looking at NetBeans here. And um, if I go inside the application folder, it's all standard Code Igniter stuff. Look, here's the old Code Igniter controller folder, here's the view folder. Do you see how it's kind of empty? That's because we have a new folder called Modules. And inside this, look at all these wonderful folders. This is where our little MVC triads live. So Events, look, here's the Events stuff. Do you see that? See how it's got a folder and it's got controllers, models, views? Look, this is where it all happens. That's our views that relate to events. Now, another thing to notice is we have the Events module here in this case. It's not doing much on the site, but it would, you know, it could be. And um, the other thing I want to show you is from a database perspective, here's the database for that site. You'll see that we have a table called events. Here it is. And then in this case, it's an empty table. Okay. But notice how the table, which is called events, links with the module, which is called events. Inside the events module, there's a controller which is called events, and inside the model is called MDL underscore events. So do you see how everything is linked up? Everything is named nicely. Everything makes sense, okay? Now, the cool thing about this is you can, as you start doing this stuff, you can build more and more modules. You can build up libraries, and you can build some really cool sites, and you can probably make a few shekels. Here's a nice online shop that I built uh, earlier on in the year. It's a jewellery shop. And, uh, you know, they're, they're making a living. This works. It's doing fantastic. It's doing really well on Google also. And uh, everything is just fine. So in this case, we've got... Um, the address is orgumjewellery.com. If we go to forward slash review, it's bringing up this page with all of the item details and what have you. So if I bring up uh, that site, you'll find a, 
maybe I won't do it just now, but you'd find a, a module called review and that would be calling all this stuff into play, okay? Now there's one little thing that I want to say before I end this video, it's going to be a short video. The other thing that I want to say is, when you're building something like an online shop, you'll probably have multiple tables. For example, here's the colour section, so you may have a, <laughs> a table with colour options, I picked an item with one colour. Well done, Dave. Let's see if I can pick another item. Okay, let's uh, bring this up. I don't think I'll get other colours here. I'm doing really well today, do you know that? I'm doing absolutely fantastically well, okay? Oh, Jiminy. Anyway, uh, what I was going to show you, if I can bring something up. Right, do you see how we've got different... <sighs> do you see... Do you see how we could have different colours? Uh, let me just try again. Isn't this spectacular? Don't you just love the wonders of technology? Well, at least it gives you a chance to uh, have a look around the stuff that I've been doing, you know. Um, okay, sod the colours. But you see how we've got different sizes, okay? We can at least see that, okay? And you can see that some items have different sizes, different colours, descriptions and all of that stuff. Now those sizes, those colors, live on different MySQL tables. So you may have a table called item size. You may have a table called item color. You may have a table called item details, etc. Right? The other piece of advice I just wanted to leave you with, when you're using HMVC, it's very tempting to take all of that stuff because it relates to items and put it in one module. I'm here to tell you that that's a mistake. What you want to do is have one module corresponding to each table, okay? So if there's a table called item size, I want you to make a module called item size and I want it to talk to that table. If you have a table called item color, I want you to have a module called item color and I want that module to talk to the table and do all of the cool stuff, okay? So we're separating everything out, we're separating everything out. Do that and you, you will never have problems. Your site will never fall apart. The structure will be solid. Other developers will understand it and you'll probably make tons of money. Now, I don't want to be cocky. But in the past, I've sold websites for up to £50,000 using these techniques. This stuff works, okay? And the cool thing about it, you know, if I just bring up the code for uh, the, the, oh, Jiminy, where on earth is it? If I just bring up the code for, uh, for example, the Orgum site, here it's here. This is the code on my humble little computer. So here's our application folder, standard code igniter stuff. But uh, look, here are all the modules. There's all triads in here. Here's one for the left nav, even though it doesn't have a left nav. Here's one for the login. Look, controllers, models, views, you see? You see inside? Look, see how everything's named? Now check this out. Where do you think, imagine there was a fault with the invoice system for this website, okay? Where do you think the invoice code is? Well, here it is. Module called invoice. Look, it's right here. Imagine if there was a problem with the PayPal shopping cart. Let's imagine the PayPal shopping cart on this shop. Let's imagine that the PayPal shopping cart broke, there was a problem. How would you fix it? Well, you go right on into modules. Look, here's a PayPal module and everything's in here. Actually, there's a PayPal basket module, maybe that does something. But the, the point is, do you see how everything is self-contained? Do you see how everything's easy to find? Can you imagine how you can just grab something, bolt it onto another site? It's super, super easy. So, uh, thanks for following this video. In the next one, we're going to get our hands dirty and look at some code. We'll set it up. It's going to be awesome. Thank you very much for listening, and uh, I'll see you soon. Bye.